Hi, I am Deb Smith, Dean of Students, and uh, I would like to talk to you a little bit about uh, some steps you can take if you find that your student is struggling academically or socially. Uh, academically, uh, I would recommend that you sit down with your child and look at uh, their grades on Skyward. Your child will have a password and will be very familiar with how to access it. You too have a password, but if you have forgotten that or for some reason did not receive that, call our front office and they'll get that for you. So when you sit down and look at Skyward, you're going to see attendance, any discipline issues, and then also uh, grades in each of the classrooms. So first of all, you wanna rule out, are you struggling academically because you're not getting your work turned in? Take a look at that with them. If you see missing grades or very, very low scores that maybe the child needs to reach out to the teacher and see if they can redo work, if that's a possibility, or if it's missing, what steps do they need to take to make sure they get that completed? And then if you look at that and don't find any movement or, or improvement made after they've taken those steps, then you may want to reach out um, to the teacher and reach out to them directly. Email them, they'll get back with you with maybe 24 hours and let them know your concerns. Ask either, um, you know, wait for a reply or if you'd like to speak to them on the phone, ask them what time would be a good time or give them information about a good time to reach you so that maybe during their prep period or before or after school, they'll be able to call you and talk with you more specifically about those concerns and, and maybe their perspective. Uh, another uh, thing is we really encourage you to help your child learn to self-advocate. If they come home and they say they're confused, ask them, are you raising your hand? Are you talking with the teacher, letting them know you're concerned, letting them know you're confused? Are you using your time before or after school during our seek periods? Um, are you asking your homeroom teacher for some steps to take to help improve those things? And then if you're finding still those, you're just not seeing the improvement again, do not hesitate to reach out to your child's teacher and uh, talk directly with them. Now, if your child gets uh, far enough behind, we may take steps uh, by placing them into a Thursday night school. We have Thursday night school for behavior, but also for academics and various other reasons. So at times we will place a student in a Thursday night school until four or five o'clock, at which time you will pick them up so that they can just have a quiet space to work and get those things accomplished if they're not doing so uh, within the classroom. Uh, also, um, you may uh, find that your child's struggling socially. Maybe they're coming home and saying, you know, I just don't feel like I'm, I have a friend group. I, this person is bothering me. Um, I'm concerned about this person or whatever the case may be. I'm stressed out from all the work or, or any of those things. Please, again, let's help us work with the students on being self advocates. So encourage them to talk to the counselor. How do they do that? They fill out a form, they drop it in the box. The counselors are checking those boxes every uh, period and the child can get a paper from their office or from their classroom or uh, a paper from out in front of the counseling area that they fill out, drop in that box, letting them know they want to see them and they can put on there if it's an emergency or just, hey, I need to talk to you sometime. And they can talk through some things with the counselor. And maybe if they've told you that they have this concern, you've encouraged them to talk to the counselor in a day or two, you know, ask them, did you talk to the counselor? No, I've not done that yet. Push them to do that. And if, if you feel like they're not doing that, or that the problem is still going on and, and uh, even though they say they're taking these steps, reach out to the counselors. They are very open and want to speak with you. So um, you know, don't, don't let it fester and become a, a bigger ordeal before you reach out. So um, you know, those steps, again, self-advocacy, but oftentimes as parents, we have to step in and, and see what's going on and, and um, maybe inform us of some things that the student's not informing us of. Um, also, if you have a specific classroom concern, maybe it's just this one classroom where something's going on. No problem anywhere else. Reach out to that teacher. Sometimes the student thinks the teacher's aware and they're not aware. So make them aware of something going on. They can keep an eye, they can keep a pulse on it, and maybe they'll reach out to the counselor. Maybe they'll be able to take care of it right there within that classroom. But again, communication is the key to all of uh, school success, whether it be between you and the teacher, the student and the teacher, you and counselors or myself or, or whomever, don't hesitate to reach out. We, we appreciate that communication and it helps us help your child uh, the best that we can possibly do. Um, and I, again, I'm the Dean of Students. For any of those things, you're uh, welcome to reach out to me as well or just uh, about any, any concerns that you may have about attendance. Um, 
concerns that you may have about uh, relationships with students and you just aren't sure if you, you know, should step in at this point or whatever, again, feel free to reach out to me or the counselors, Mrs. Scheidler and Mrs. Smith. We're here to, to help you in any way we can. We're happy to sit down and meet with you. We're happy to sit down and meet with your uh, child. Um, maybe there's a, a thing going on in the family at home that you feel like may affect uh, school performance or school relationships. Call and let the counselors know. That just helps us, again, help your child. Look forward to working with you this year and hope that you all have had a restful summer.